Okay, by popular demand, let us talk about the difference between easements and estates. And yes, I realize they both start with E, but they are not the same thing. But that's okay. I digress. Let's get to it. So let's talk about an easement and estate and the fact that they do share something in common. And both of them are an interest in real estate. They both are an interest in real estate. What do I mean? That means that if I have an interest in real estate, that means I have some say. I have some connection to the piece of real estate. It's just that easement says I have this connection to real estate versus a state means I have a somewhat different connection to real estate. It's like if I say I have a family member, right? There's a difference between if I say somebody is my parent or somebody is my sibling, right? Because either way, they're both family members, but parent means, you know, they made me. Right. They, they're they. Well, I'm going to say made, but you know what I mean? Like they raised me. They took care of me. They have to love me. You know, that kind of thing. And then if I have siblings. Which I do. And I think you all know that that's a blessing and interesting all at the same time. That says something different. That means we share parents. Right. So it tells you that we have a familial relationship. But the word parent and sibling tells you, well, how is the connection? Well, the same thing for an interest in real estate. So let's talk about, about excuse me, an easement first. So an easement means that you have the right to cross somebody's land or to use somebody's land. So let's go here, easement. It means somebody has the right to use or cross somebody's land. And I know as we study, a lot of times people go, oh yeah, an easement. And a lot of times we think of a pertinent easements. And that's the one where you have two properties, right? This is property A, this is property B. Let's put a little house there. And it's the fact that property B has the right to cross property, I should say, sorry, property A has the right to cross property B to get to the road. Right now, that's very, very simple. We're not going into the, you know, deep dive into an appurtenant easement right now. But we do know that this is the servient property and this is, Oh, okay. Well, I am just messing it all up today. That is not the servient property. See, even teachers make mistakes, y'all. But what can I say? You ask for videos, I do them off the cuff. So we're going to say servant uh, A is the dominant property. And then B is the servient property. Because this person's use or this piece of property's use is going to override really kind of this property. So I always like to think of a pertinent has two properties. Pertinent easements have two properties, just like you have two P's, two P's, two properties. That's for another video or another question you all can ask me in class. And then we also know we have easements in gross. Gross easements, which can either be like a utility, or it could be a personal easement where a person has the right to cross. I mean, there's all sorts of different types of easements, right? It's the right to use or cross. What you do not have the right to do is live there. No living there. And we're going to call that the right to possession. Because when you have an estate, that is what that means. An estate means that you have the right to live on the property. So let's write that out. Estate. And the fancy way of saying that it's an 
interest in real property that gives the right to possess or basically live there. You decide which wording you like, right? And then if I were to break down estates, we know we have all sorts of ones. We have our freehold estates, which we know that means ownership. And then you've got your non-freehold estates. And that's like a leasehold, which, you know, you're leasing it. And then under freehold, we have all these other different types, which is great. And we're again, this is not just about the estates today, but you wanted to know about the difference between easements and estates. So there you go. They're both an interest in real estate. If I say I have an easement, it means I have a say or I have some kind of stake in the land where I can cross or I can use it. So maybe I'm crossing to get to the road. If it's a utility easement, maybe it's like a gas easement or maybe it's like those big, ugly green boxes or like sometimes you see those utility boxes on people's land. That's an easement because that utility company has the right to use that property. An estate means somebody has the right to live on the property. And when you break down estates, it's gonna be basically within two types either your non-freehold or your freehold. And of course, I said those backwards. Now, as a bonus, if you're struggling with estates, let me just kind of break it down for you. Because when I look at estates, I think about, oh, well, let's talk about the fact that you can live there. And if you can live there, let's talk about how long you own the property. So really, when it comes to estates, It's about the length of ownership. Right? So for these three, this one and this one and this one, these are all types of freehold estates. And then this one is a leasehold. And what I mean by that is your fee simple Absolute, that's your strongest ownership. And in theory, you would own it forever. Or it's a property that unless you do something to get rid of it, you sell it or something like that, then it's gonna go to your heirs and then they'll own it. There's no like rules on your ownership versus you've got your defeasible estates. And defeasible estates means the ownership could be defeated. So in a fee simple with a condition subsequent or a fee simple determinable, it's possible you could own this forever. But if you break the rule or you do something you're not supposed to, then your ownership interest could end. And then here you have your life estates and your life estates are an interest where you own the property, but it's for somebody's lifetime. So either it's a life estate or it's a per autry V life estate. Just depends. This means for the life of another. All right. And then we've got our leasehold estates. This one is renting. And we know we have four of those. And we can get into those later if you want a video on that and me explaining the differences, that's cool. But again, by request, that's the difference between an easement and an estate. So just as a review, it's like, it tells you what the interest is. So in an easement, you have the right to use or to cross, right? And in an estate, you have the right to possess or live there. Hopefully this helps. If you got questions, just let me know in class. Otherwise, I think that's it and I'll see you soon. Bye.